everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and this week's weekly news roundup. With me, as usual, I've got Moody from NEPCGameTech.com. Hello there. Hello. Right, we've got three bits of uh, quick news today. The first one is backwards compatibility on Xbox One, uh, now reaching over 200 titles. Uh, then we're going to talk about Watch Dogs 2, uh, and then we're going to have a brief chat regarding Mirror's Edge. So first up is uh, backwards compatibility. Uh, Microsoft have um, obviously been doing this now for a little while, and I think they're just over 200 titles on the Batcat, as they call it, uh, with more being added all the time. I mean, the most celebrated release recently is the Black Ops 2, uh, which I find strange, really. I mean, Black Ops 3 is out, and it's supposedly meant to be better. Uh, but yeah, Black Ops 2 is out. Um, I find it strange the excitement a new title uh, being added to the Batcat list brings. I mean, I've never been, I don't know about you, Moody, but I've never been a huge fan of this uh, this backwards compatibility, especially as like the new the next gen supposedly should be better. It's better graphics, bigger worlds. You know, I mean, it's nice to have the software titles in one box uh, rather than having two consoles. But I quite like the retro feel of going back to your old console and playing the game with with your old controller. I like that. Um, what do you think about all this? I don't think it's a, a terrible thing they've done it because it should have. It's something that should have been in at launch for both consoles anyway. It's a ridiculous thing. It wasn't yeah. to be honest with you. So yeah, but uh, I'm not. There was a bit of an uproar about it. It wasn't there, but I just mm. think so. so I'm, I'm one of those people. Once I finish playing a game, I'm done. I know a lot. Some people not like that. Fair enough. They like to go yeah. back and play the games, but yeah. I'm sort of a one and done man sort of thing. <laughs> I just. But um, yeah, it should have been in at launch anyway. I don't see the, see the problem with being there. It is, and it is nice that they've actually listened for once, Microsoft, and they've done it. I think that's what it's Netflix. about. I mean, they're trying a little bit behind PS4. Um, PlayStation's got the, uh, I think it's called PlayStation Now, where you can hire titles. So it really is one step above that system. I mean, if you've got the game now, you can just chuck it into your Xbox One uh, and play it for free. You don't have to you know, rent it again or buy it again. Um, but I genuinely think that all consoles now in the future will go down this route. I mean, PCs of backwards compatibility aren't they why can't the consoles um, I mean look look, not... look at the Wii I mean the Wii and the Wii U never got great press but the Wii U enabled you to play all your Wii games and most importantly use all the peripherals all the controllers from the original Wii now that's that to me is so consumer friendly whereas the big the big consoles they like to just cut the line there don't they and say you've got to buy everything brand new yeah, I think it's a bit naughty, really, because they just like to squeeze every pound of it. I know it's, well, that's how business works, but I think they need yeah. to look after their customers a little bit better. Yeah. And I think they will. I think they're starting to realise that they're going to have to, because people are going to jump shit. You know? Yeah. So I think I think that's, Microsoft have learnt to their cost. I think so. <laughs> they're still looking after themselves. Though. I mean, one one game, the most uh, requested game, is Red Dead Redemption, and they're specifically they're talking about, oh, we can't do that because there's licensing issues at the moment. But what I think is happening is they're going to remaster that, which I don't mind because it's a great game. I think you like it, don't you, as well? Oh, it's a, it's a fantastic game, and it's it is a prime candidate for remastering. Because I hate all these sort of lesser titles. I don't want to call them. That's a bit condescending, but that are not that great and they remaster them just to milk a bit of money but that's one yeah. of the games that if any game deserves a remaster it's Red Dead Redemption it's a fantastic yeah. game or just don't be so lazy and do, do um, a sequel <laughs> well there, there apparently is one in the works they haven't announced it there's, a, there's lots of there is allegedly one in the works but that would make sense why they want to remaster it to get the buzz going again for the yeah. second game but yeah that makes yeah, perfect yeah, definitely. sense but yeah but it's there if you want it, isn't it? You don't have to have two consoles if you don't want it. You chuck the disc in. And actually, one of the nice things is the game's for gold. So you used to uh, have to go to your Xbox 360 to play them, but they're instantly backward compatible. Um, so with your Xbox Live subscription, you get the couple of Xbox One games and you get the Xbox 360 games, yeah. which is great, isn't it, for, your, for yeah, your, your, it your 40 quid or whatever it is per year. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Right. Right, Watch Dogs 2. Um, news is starting to really filter through now about, about this game. And uh, apparently Ubisoft are sending out all the top YouTubers and streamers nice big goodie bags and freebies in preparation to to grease the wheels, as it were. <laughs> I mean, although... <laughs> to although bribe t- the yeah, YouTubers, yeah. Making sure yeah. it's nice and slippery. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Although um, teasing, I mean, let's be honest, teasing YouTubers with goodies and stuff is not a new thing and something that they have to do, don't nah. they? It's business, you know? But of course, yeah. With, with Watch Dogs 2, it's interesting the, um, the, the hill that's got to climb because, I mean, that was one of the biggest hype and fail cycles of this generation, wasn't it, really? I mean, we were both disappointed with that. Oh, yeah, the, it was, the hype for that game was massive and everyone was, 
it was just ridiculous the hype that built for that. It was like frenzy, wasn't it? Pretty much. And everyone and believed the hype, wasn't it? Everyone. Yeah, believed I it. believe I was. I was suckered in. I was one of the suckers. Yeah, definitely. All the night time. Of the um, game. Yeah, all the all the little uh, the clips that they showed you. Night time of the rain and going past the cinema. I remember. I remember the specific clip. And when I got it, it didn't look like that at all. It didn't look like that. Yeah, it looked, <laughs> it, it, not even close. You can understand little bits. A bit. It was not. It wasn't even in the same ball ballpark, was it? It was really yeah. was. Yeah. It wasn't terrible looking, but it was nowhere near what they showed everyone. Well, that was, was one really of the wasn't. first games where they said um, the consoles was holding the PC back, didn't they? I mean, apparently, uh, uh, we never played it on PC. I'm, I'm basing it on Xbox One. But apparently, didn't they say you could unlock the PC version and download all the high-quality high, high quality textures? And that was one of the first games where maybe the consoles were holding back the PC. Um, but the, the game itself wasn't that good, really, was it? No, it's a it's a mediocre game. It wasn't a terrible game, but the gameplay itself was a bit boring. And it just said something, but in the side missions, like the spider tank, for example, were more exciting than the main <laughs> game. Tank, so bit... Spider tank. <laughs> <laughs> but that was that yeah, was just... pretty good though, wasn't it? Spider tank. It not, was. Not it was good. I enjoyed that. that song. Just the game. No, no, no. That was pretty poor. But um, yeah, that, that was. <laughs> we'll cut that, that out. Uh, that... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, um, that was one of the reasons why it wasn't that great when you think about it and the side missions are better it's just like a bit bizarre one of the best parts for me was uh, and it was probably one of the main bits that I played was um, being able to hack into another player's game and sort of hide amongst the AI I thought that was absolutely superb yeah. and it really <laughs> it really got my imagination I thought it was fantastic and hopefully they'll they'll do little bits like that because it is a hacking game isn't it that, that was the idea of it that was great. It was great to be a sneaky little bastard and sneak around into the crowd. I didn't, I didn't know what was going. No one knew who was there, and it was good. But I'd, and who wouldn't yeah, want to control any... traffic lights? You know, I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and cause accidents. It was great. Well, maybe not that. I was just talking about no. getting home from work <laughs> oh, earlier. I'm oh, sorry. Did, did that come to the side out loud? <laughs> right. So, what we got next? Mirror's Edge. Yes, Mirror's Edge. It's coming out very, very shortly, in, in less than a week, in fact. Yeah. And I did, thanks to Origin Access, I do highly recommend it. I'm not, I'm not sponsored by EA or anything, but um, you've got some early access, and I had a cheeky half hour. It's not much to base no. opinion on the game, but... Yeah, and I'm going to do I'm the same it. after this. Yes, and you're, yes, uh, but I will be uh, posting plug, 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 and the impressions... Uh, yeah, we're gonna both, both gonna channel. do a first impressions. I mean, I don't know. I'm not very good at impressions. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, no, you're uh, good, yeah. Arnie. <laughs> yes, I'll be back. Maybe not. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely will be an impression video going up very soon. Once I've done a few more hours. What do you think wanna... of it so far, without giving too much away? Well, I mean, what, what I about know. the graphics? Is it is it good looking game? Uh, they're they're decent. They're good. They're mm. not mind blowing. They're not no. fine, but I wasn't going, wow, look at this, wow, look at that. But it were, they were good, they were decent, they were solid. So, yeah. And the gameplay uh, pretty good? Different. Yeah, it's good. It was different. Yeah. There's, there's no there's no guns or melee weapons in the game, which is unusual for any yeah, game, it to is, be honest. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's just this hand-to-hand combat on your part. The, the enemy have weapons, but you yeah. don't, unfortunately. Okay. But, um, that's, but yeah, that's what it sort of makes it a bit more interesting. Cause you've got to re- there's every different enemy has different ways of taking them down, but you use momentum and skills and various moves to take people down and every enemy demands a different set of moves to get them to take them down so yeah, yeah, you have okay. to work that out so yeah so we'll, yeah, see, so we'll, we'll see more of that in your first impressions review yes yes see, i don't want to bleat on too much but yeah that's that was it's, it's interesting it's definitely interesting i, I want to play more yeah so, excellent definitely. all right well that's all we've got time for this week and let's move on to the channel shout out this week's channel shout out goes to Nova is a boss. Uh, good little channel actually. A lot of funny moments, funny videos, um, Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto. Um, so go across uh, and check him out. I'll leave the link to his channel in my description. If you do go over there, let him know that Game Tech UK sent you. Um, and all you have to do to get a shout out on the uh, on next week's show is leave a comment regarding the news in this week's show. I'll pick a channel at random, and then like I've done here, you'll get a shout out at the end of next week's show. And that's all for this week, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>